Hey everyone, it's Mikito again. I'm here to teach another Tetsuji. This one is called the Knight's Connection Underneath. At least that's what I call it. I'm going to show you three variations where we this could be useful. So, I don't know if you've seen my other video, but I've done this formation before. Uh, white pokes if we want to go back. This is usually a good formation for black. Yeah, obviously you can see it's building territory very quickly um, and it leaves an invasion point here. Black will try and surround white or block them off from the center. White will poke. And last time I did a video it was this move which uh, introduced us to the two-step Hane. This time I'll be showing you this way. It's a different variation. Um, so as black, I'd immediately want to split my uh, opponent. White will come back and ask, can I please connect? And black will say, no. Black will connect himself, make sure that he can't be cut. Now he's nice and solid. <clears throat> and this corner for white, white wants to connect with his stone at O3 here so that you know, he can have a nice connection, good territory. And what would be your move? I'm curious. If you want to pause it, feel free. Uh, I think my first instinct right off the bat would be to read this. Uh, the problem with this, though, is that when black does this throw in, if white plays here, black can play this. White will play down. Black plays this to disconnect. And if white doesn't want to lose his two stones, he will have to take. He's alive in the corner now, but black has this really strong thickness facing this invadable potential for white. Um, I think even black can tanuki here. I could be wrong, but the variations that I'm reading out is if black tanuki's here, white can try and cut. Black will atari atari. And he can set him up into the loose ladder tetsuji. Um, so, even if black can't tanuki, this is still like really great for black. He got you know, white lived very small, and black has thickness facing the top right, the middle, and the um, bottom left. So, it's really good. <laughs> Um, let's see, and if white tries this way, it's very similar. Uh, so white gets a move this way, but I mean it ends up the same thing, however way you want to play it. So, so the point is that this move is not Tetsuji, it's not stylish enough, you gotta play cool. And the cool move is the, what I named this video after, the Knight's Underneath Connection. So it's a Knight's move from O3. And no matter what Black tries and does, he cannot separate these white stones. So the first move in my mind actually comes to this. Um, now if you played very normally, White would play something like this and black would be able to disconnect. Um, yeah. But, because this is Tetsuji, it's way cooler than that. Um, you get to play this move, and now no matter what black does, uh, it just doesn't work. White's connected. There's no way black can stop it. See? Uh, if Black Kane is here. Same, same exact position. Uh, black can't play this, right? So black has to come back, and now it's the same exact thing. So that's the first example of the knights underneath. Let's go back. I have two more. Let's see. Okay, kind of ruined the move there, but <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just show it first. 
So if black plays the knight's move from Ln, trying to connect with the black group over here, if white tries and be stubborn, black can just cut him, and this is just a good fight for black. He has too many liberties, and white will just die. So black has to come back to connect. And now this formation comes up once again. If white tries to cut, he just doesn't have enough liberties to do it. And black would be perfectly fine, no matter how stubborn white is. Obviously, if white plays that, then you can just connect there. And that is the Tetsuji, yeah, the knight's move connection underneath. Now let's try some other ways. Obviously, this crude way works, but let's see. I think white would play this. Yes. And now you would ha uh, end up in Ko. Obviously, if you don't have enough Ko threats, you would have to play here. And now this is really good for white. It's too good. Uh, if you wanted to play the Ko, you could make it bigger. And if you win, that would be great, but you'd have to give up moves um, in the Ko. So why would you want to do that if you can just use a Tetsuji that has no Ko and just works, right? It's all about efficiency. Uh, and if black cuts this way, it's actually the same thing where if black takes, now it's Ko. The same exact Ko. And if black plays this way, black will have to come back. And now, you, it's not as cool as the other problem. You can't use the loose ladder, so I'd probably play this. But that's, or, I mean, you can't connect, but I like this a lot better. But anyway, that's the second example, which is this move. Okay, we'll move on to the last example. <coughs> I tried making this problem as realistic as possible. So, I already showed the move again, <laughs> but I'll show you the anti uh, Tetsuji's first. This creates too many cutting points. White comes out and gets the split. And now the two black groups are split. Uh, same here. <clears throat> and so it really only leaves us with the Tetsuji if we want to connect and be good go players <laughs> um, if white tries and breaks up it's this um, extension that seems to be the key move if you don't do these extensions white is able to um, disconnect you so it's this extension <clears throat> Now, if white tries to do that, it's just not good enough. And if white tries to cut here, it's also this extension. Because it just leads you to the same exact problem. If you were to do this, I guess it would also work. But it feels like, uh, yeah, I guess it'll work. Regardless, the key move is this one. And usually it follows with an extension like this. So those are my three problems for this Tetsuji. Uh, it's called the Knight's Move Connection Underneath. And it, at least in these problems, it's always on the second line between two black groups that are very close to being separated. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a good one, everyone.